we're all at different stages in the progression. So again, at the one on the ground, I want to show this to you guys because you may be able to give this to others or hey, if you're tired or nervous or whatever it may be, you get in this top of the push-up position and you can walk your feet to your hands. And when you get to the point where you're like, I want to bend my knees, don't. Rock forward, look behind you. Rock back, rock forward, rock back. That's a lot harder than it looks. It's exhausting on the shoulders. You're starting to get, get what it feels like with the butt over your head. And that's a little progression. Get a handful of those, rest. You also start to get used to really put the, putting that wrist in the position, which sometimes when you get upside down, it feels a little funky when it's new, right? So it's a great way to start to practice that. Now, the next step is spotting off the wall and helping to walk a little bit. So what Denise is gonna do, she's gonna kick up and she's gonna trust me and I'm gonna catch her. She, so we'll, we'll teach you how to kick out, but again, she'll kick up and I'm just gonna hold her into a freestanding handstand. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna try and walk a little forward, one hand, and I'm with her. I'm with her. And then when she gets one or two, she'll kick on down. That was a very nice handstand. Wasn't it? Yeah, a little golf clap, a little golf clap. I feel. Uh, Bravo. So, a few things here. We gotta talk about what we're gonna do with the arms. And if we have not walked on our hands off the wall, you're gonna start against the wall. If you have, we'll let you with that spotter. But it's not this. It's this. So I'm just moving the shoulder. So what we're going to do is we'll start against the wall and you're just going to rock from left to right against the wall. It'll look like this. I'll mimic the wall. She'll kick up and then she'll rock from left to right. See how she's just going from left to right? Where does she want to go? She's dancing. She wants to go forward. I'm resisting her and relax. So that's a great way to start to practice. She, and if I were to let her, she would start to move. But she didn't pull her hands off the ground, right? So that's what we start to practice against the wall. Feet together, yep. And now think about bringing your heels forward. There we go. Lean, lean, lean with the legs and come down and relax. Nice job. So what I want you to think about is reaching with your heels like this. So this is, if I were upside down, that's where you want to be. That makes sense? Okay. Because you're just, a, you're, you're, if I wasn't there, you'd fall backwards. Right. right. So you have to chase your heels, chase your heels. So the, um, the further um, arch A little bit. It's not aggressive, just subtle. You're still tight, but you can chase your heels a little bit. That's how you start. Yeah, you want to look like a beautiful, like, you know, pencil walking straight up and down, but that will come with time. Right. right? We all can't look like world-class gymnasts. Right. Yes.